Sheena, because of the temporary restraining order that Raquel has against you, you will have to leave the stage before Raquel joins us. But before you go, what is the latest on the restraining order? We have a court date on the 29th. She claims you punched her that night after Watch What Happens Live. I will Live. speak to you about this after the 29th. You can't speak to me about no. it now? No. Did you punch her? I can't say anything. Okay. Does anyone else here think Sheena punched her? I think she I might have slapped her. No. She can't, no. look at her fingers, her fingernails. She can't make a fist. No. Sandoval, what do you think happened? Sandoval? I mean... Um... Uh, I wasn't there. Um... Why is it so difficult to answer? Because I feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place. Then just keep your mouth shut. Then just That's shut your, your mouth. Sandoval. L listen, w w the thing is, I don't want to upset my relationship with Sheena. You have no relationship with Sheena, you idiot. But I want to tell the truth. Okay. The truth. <laughs> the truth, right. Ali, on the catamaran, Lala pulled you aside to give you some advice about dealing with James and his temper. I want you to always maintain your power. I love James, but it I is eye-opening. Last night was relatively tame <laughs> compared to what you could see in the future. Did you ever feel like telling Lala or Raquel to stay out of your relationship? <laughs> uh, uh, I yes. mean, I think at that time, I was kind of open to hear what they had to say, but now looking back, I do feel like I could have been a little bit more like protective of us. I think at that point in time, I was extremely triggered by my own situation, and I was just feeling like I didn't want anything that had happened to me to happen to other chicks. Why is Lala getting so emotional? I want no, to no, know. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. You know what? This is the side of you I love. I don't want to always see the angry side. It just, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> my life was like a lot um, this summer. I was hypersensitive to like everything around me. I felt like such an idiot, such a fool. And so I just felt like with her, let's, for example, to just like baby her. Yes. I do feel for Lala a lot. I know how much she's gone through, how strong she has been. Like, as a woman, she has conquered company, a baby, and dealing with such an asshole of an ex, right? That she's just an absolute legend in my eyes, right? James, how did you feel when you saw that conversation? I just watched it, honestly, and I didn't feel good. I called Lala. She knows I'm not that guy, so it's like, why are you gonna go ahead and like keep saying this? Like, you're not Raquel right now. We heard it from her at Agora Hills, the Canyon Club. Like, I didn't expect it from her.